glad to be here with um, the Porch Poet series and Friends of Jack Kerouac House. Um, the last time I did a reading uh, at uh, Black Crow, which was, um, that was not directly affiliated with Kerouac House, it was community poetry. Community poetry, right. So uh, I wanted to continue um, with that poem that I had read that that day, which was a CIA Dope Calypso, uh, part one by Allen Ginsberg's, uh, Allen Ginsberg. And this is his um, last published text, Cosmopolitan Greetings, which I received for Christmas of 1994. I was 16 years old. Uh, also, I had discussed that that April, I saw Allen Ginsberg in the flesh on the day that Kurt Cobain uh, was found dead, so it was like April 9th, 1994. Um, so, here we go. NSA Dope Calypso, part two. This was penned in January and February of 1990. Now Richard Secord and Oliver North hated Sandinistas, whatever they were worth. They peddled for the Contras to ease their pain. They couldn't sell Congress, so Contras sold cocaine. They discovered Noriega only yesterday, Nancy Reagan and the CIA. Now coke and grass were exchanged for guns on a border airfield that John Hull runs, or used to run, till his Costa Rican bust as a CIA spy trading Contra coke dust. They discovered Noriega only yesterday, Nancy Reagan and the CIA. Ramon Milian Rodriguez of Medellin Cartel laundered their dollars and he did it very well. Hundreds of millions through U.S. banks till he got busted and sang in the tank. It was buried in the papers only yesterday when Bush was drug czar, USA. Milian told Congress three million coke bucks went to Felix Rodriguez, CIA muck muck to give to the Contras only hush, 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 except for Donald Gregg and his boss, George Bush. Buried in the papers only yesterday with Bush as vice president USA. Rodriguez met Bush in his office many times. They didn't talk business. They drank lemon and limes. Or maybe they drank coffee or they smoked a cigarette. But cocaine traffic, they remembered to forget. It was buried in the papers only yesterday and Bush got in the White House of USA. Now when Bush was director of the CIA, Panama traffic in coke was gay. You never used to hear George Bush holler when Noriega laundered lots of cocaine dollar. Bush paid Noriega, they used to work together, they sat on a couch and talked about the weather. Then Noriega double-crossed his company pal with a treaty taking back the Panama Canal. So when he got into the big white house, Bush said Noriega was a cocaine louse. The Cold War ended, East Europe found hope, the US got hooked in a war on dope. Glasnost came, East Europe got free, so Bush sent his army to Panama City. Bush's guns in Panama did their worst, like coke fiends fighting on St. Mark's and First. Does Noriega know Bush's company crimes? In 2000 AD, read the New York Times. That was written in January, February 1990, Allen Ginsberg.